natural bound, and you're getting out. I said, get out, walk in dry places. Walk in dry places. Get out. Get out of your bathroom. Get out of my system. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It might not be good, sister. Okay. If the sister says, then, in the name of Jesus. How do I look at me? You're not here. Look at me. You came to give her hate, and she doesn't want hate. Look at me. She doesn't want you. She knows you're there. She wants you out. She wants you out. Get out of her. I want to know who you are. Come on. Who are you? Speak your name. Because what's the sister's name? Michelle. Sister Michelle. This thing is a little bit, and you knew it, but you didn't know really what it is. It's been lying to you a lot. Take a look at me. The Lord does love you, and He's real. And I know how long that last time we love you. We love you, Sister Michelle. A devil is a lie. I want to know the spirit because it doesn't want to be. I want to know how you got this, spirit. Charles, we bind you, Charles. Is that your name? Jesus. We bind you. Look at me. It is a soul tie to that person and it will affect you the rest of your life. Break the soul tie. I'm going up there and we're going to break soul ties right now for all of us. Because if anybody else in here has gone through, and probably I can say all of you have, most of you have, because this is how the world works. This is how the enemy works. He wants you when you're a child because he hates innocence. Watch the Lord do it for you, sister. You see, look at the smile. The glow. I Come see on, y'all, praise him. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to bring some curses. You look better, praise God. Praise him. Come on. Deliverance. Don't be ashamed. Every other one or almost. 
most everyone's been through that. Yes. 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 Isn't this awesome? Yes. This one, Jimmy, is awesome. Yes. It's awesome. Yes. 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 Yes.
which connects me to that individual. Objects that remind me of that person or a gift from that person by removing these physical reminders. I am cutting off all ways in which Satan may keep that person in my life. In the name of Jesus, I renounce, resist, break all curses of shame, self-condemnation, harassment, stalking, emotional torment related to this person. As the soul tie is broken, this person no longer has any spiritually legal right to influence my life. Every door and every part of my being that was affected by the soul tie is now closed and sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and I break all curses of every fragmented soul that are on me and future generations. This renunciation includes, but is not limited to, the following curses. Every attempt of Satan through witchcraft, Satanism, any occult power to fragment my mind and emotions. I repent of my involvement in practices that may have facilitated this evil intention, such as practicing Eastern mysticism, meditation, hypnotherapy, trancing, channeling, various forms of mind control, taking drugs, listening to demonic music. I ask the, the angels of the Lord to surround me and the Holy Ghost to capture all the broken parts of my mind, bring them back to me in restoration and wholeness according to Psalm 23.3. He restored my soul. I renounce every attempt by any person, by any person. To, control to control my mind, my mind. And, my life. and my life, thereby cause, thereby cause. my emotions I to fragment in their domination. This renunciation includes, this renunciation includes any, unintentional any unintentional mind control, mind control indulged, in indulged in by my ancestors, by my ancestors. passing on to me the propensity to dissociate negatively. I ask healing for every psychologically dissociated, emotionally disconnected part of my mind and my emotions. I recognize temporarily such a condition may facilitate survival after trauma. I know, I know that it's God's will, it's God's will for, me for me not to be double-minded, double but, stable but stable in all of my thoughts and all, all of my actions, all of my actions. According, to James 1, according to James 1, 2 through 7. Two through seven. I, want this healing I want this healing to penetrate, to penetrate every part of my being, part of my being. the deepest part of my soul that my soul. are subject to forgetfulness. So that no demonic force can manipulate my condition consciously or unconsciously. In Jesus' name. Now, I don't know each of you, but whatever or whoever person, whether you've been raped or molested or taken advantage of, I want when I say I break the curse of, and if you got to do more of them, you just keep on. I want you to, ready? I break the curse of. I break the curse of. Name your person. Everybody got different people 
and maybe more than one. And say it again, I break the curse up, name that person. I break the curse up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I break all attachment. I break all attachment. To the spirit. To the spirit. From my life. From my life. And I sinned. And I sinned. All associated. All associated. Soul parts. Soul parts. And demonic influences. Demonic that have influenced my life. And hurt me. Belong. In Jesus' name, I am a creation of Jesus Christ. I am a daughter of God. I am a son of God. The Lord is my Father, and He loves me. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. I saw some of you who have been suffering a long time, and you're feeling it. You're feeling the Holy Ghost moving in your area. You want to come up and let me pray for you, my sister, come on. If you want prayer for this junk, if you want prayer for this junk, come on, Pastor. Let's just grab our trash can, sister uh, Katrina, grab that, grab the paper. You want to pray for that same junk? In the name of Jesus, I knew that. Now you commanded that. You commanded that thing by name. It's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. Inamu kala sita. Look at me. I want to know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're standing in the gap. One of ours. It's part of the body of Christ. Say what you say. Carlos, what do you hear? You're going to kill the spirit of murder. Hatred, self-destruction, I don't want you to come out of my sister. She is not cheating. Hatred, you have anger, hatred helps. Anger's going to come out of anger. You know what? She forgave just now. You gotta go. You gotta go. Look at me, anger. You're not gonna blow. The spirit of nerve is not gonna blow in her. She don't want it. You got to destroy her. You want her to commit suicide, self-destruct, but she's not gonna do such a thing. Because this is the daughter of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord loves her. He loves her. Jesus died for you. If, there, if you would have been the only person in the whole world, you know the Lord loves you so much, he would have died on the cross for you, but just you. Just you. Just you. The devil is a liar. Murder, hatred, and revenge. You came with anger because she couldn't do anything about it. And you came to make her feel powerless so that you could stir up murder, anger, hatred, and revenge in her life. Or she was fire. Mm -hmm. My sister doesn't want you to be there. Today, you're going to leave her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said you were the leader. You're bound to be so good in the name of Jesus.
separate you from us, so you go. You can remain. Get out of the house. She don't want you. She don't want you. She don't want you. You've been trying to hurt this child. She don't want you. She don't want you. She don't want you. Get out of the house. who you really are. Because you know who you are. The demons have been there so long. Get you so you can learn what your thoughts are. That was all you since you was a baby. That thing's gone. We watched it together. Oh, yes, it's not to me. Thank you, Yeah. <laughs> 
defending yourself. You're not going to have to keep defending yourself. Oh my God! Oh my God! Come on, come on, come on, guys! Fighting to be a Christian, fighting for your walk with God. But the Lord's here to tell you that you're not going to be a fighter. He's going to change your name. You're going to be a lover of people and a kind soul. Because you don't come across as, as mean. But you've had a lot of anger because of your life. You felt like nobody has ever really loved you. They've just been you know, used, you, you. We have to, and I, I, I see all the tattoos, but that's not where it's coming from. Because those were kind of expressions of the anger. And that things come to grab a hold of you from the expressions of the anger. You wouldn't really be good, to, I don't know who you're married to, but you wouldn't be really a good person to be married to. Because you have a mother. And, I, and nobody knows. Nobody knows. But you, know, you don't want to be like in that space. But I'm going to tell you something. The Lord loves you. And there's, look at me, there's a great man of God who moved out of something that you have felt like you what can God be using for me? What can he do? Who am I? What can he ever do? What does he ever see of me? No, he sees. He sees that you are trying and that you are quiet. And there's something that he wants from your life. He doesn't want you to tell what you used to be. He wants them not to tell what you used to be. Because when they look at you, they can never figure it out. Because the, the new you is like the three people children that came out this month. Because these things were eating and eating and eating. And, and you know, there are times in your life that there has been some people that come in your life that don't want you to fight like a yeah. And you have to fight just to even be a
right there, no problem. And you know what would happen in that ministry? Sometimes we feel like we're unappreciated. You just need to hear a word sometimes to say thank you. And that if you don't hear thank you sometimes, but they don't hear thank you sometimes, it makes you feel like, why try? Because nobody appreciates it.
the Lord already healed you. Come on, the Lord already healed you. You have the freedom in your hands. Tonight when I lay my hands on your hands, you pray. Come on, God will use those hands. Yeah, yeah, God will use those hands. Use them. I love you, God. Shut up. Yes, shut up. Does anybody else feel like you have to get the healing in your life? No, no, no. Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on, now. I love you. Yes, shut up. You got to be healing in your life. Come on, you got to be healing. Oh, yeah.
Jesus. Oh God. I hate you. I hate you. Oh Lord Jesus. The devil is a lie because I know by hate you. And then the Lord loves you and you found the greatest love in all your life in Jesus now. Nobody's going to take that from you. And that you, you're so afraid that something happens, that you disappoint the Lord, and that you don't keep on with this beautiful thing that he's put in your life. I'm here to tell you there's some dedication, some consecrations coming on you. Other people might be able to do it, but you're not going to do it. Other people might be able to wear it, but you're not going to do it. Other people might be able to go, but you ain't going to do it. Oh, God!
When you can lead the congregation to the throne of God in worship, you are doing the work that allows them to release and the anointing. And when the, when the word comes, they can receive it. That makes good ground. That's the word. That's a special call. There's a lack of understanding in our world about the word. It's not about just bouncing around. It's about really worshiping the Lord and bringing them with you. You're bringing them with you. You ever feel like, oh, I'm bringing them with me. We go on. Let's go. Miriam had the tambourine. She danced out through the Red Sea. Not just because I saw how you worship. Because, but that's a ministry. We went to Chicago. There was a lady who had that ministry. You remember? I'm going to tell you, when she led the congregation, and she wasn't doing all kind of jammy, jammy stuff. I mean, she was behind the pulpit just worshiping God, and we began to worship the presence of God moved into that place in such a mighty, mighty way and touched the, everybody in the place. And guess what? Healing. Touch. I felt such a touch of God that I was ready when I got on the pulpit, remember? Just to let the word go forward because the people could receive it. That, that, that's, that's a ministry. That's a beautiful ministry. That's a life. I really feel the Holy Ghost in here. Yeah. Is it yours? Yeah. And I heard him <laughs> early. And it's, it's a precious. Yeah. What's his name? Jaden. Jaden. Jaden? That's a beautiful name. Jaden, I love it. I love it. Very handsome man, too. Love that. Mm -hmm. I can see. 
your face, you know. So. Sorry, as my little club. I see, he's so cute, Jay. Yeah, he's tired right now. It's Sorry, funny. he's sitting mm -hmm. here in a chair and not complaining at all. He's so right. Yeah. You got yeah, something yeah. from God tonight, huh? I see, yeah. I saw that, mommy. I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. I'm not such a mystery. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are we at church? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Can we give God a praise? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I know this is great. I don't need I see this is this is prophetic ministry in your life. I'm not sure what form it's coming in, but I know it is and and, and it's not like you don't want it. You do. It's just it's like kinda of like I don't I can't try this. I don't know how to exactly try this on like that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I won't tell you this is your private and she's the private one too. And beautiful. Don't be in the right to God has a future for you. He's got something in the future. Not just because of who your grandmother is. That's not what it's going to be. Everyone pray for brothers and sisters. <laughs> Dr. Klein. 
<laughs> you know this is something big. Oh, yeah. That's him, too. Yeah. All over a lot of fragrance. Yeah, come on, brothers. Come pray, brothers. That's what I did. In the name of Jesus. Oh, watch God in this. In the name of Jesus. That's what he's done then. Look at that. And no more cocoa bowls.
what you want to say? God, tell my mom. Amen. 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 Because every time you know something else that tries to hurt us as women, they blah, 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 blah. But if you tell them, I'm telling my mom. They can't kill your mom. Death can't kill your mom. She'll come back from the grave and kill your mom. 